if you're like me, you probably take most of your photos these days with your camera phone, but uh, Polaroid thinks you should take it with this. If you're wondering why we're showing it on the Android side, you guessed it, it's running Android. This is the Polaroid SC1630. It's a pretty interesting device on here. Uh, when you go around, you can see they have their own custom version of Android. They've got their own launcher. Flip it open, and it has some apps on here that you can extend the function of the cameras, including the Android Market. Now, there's going to be something that's interesting. I'll talk about that a little bit later on. But for now, since we're, this is a dedicated camera, let's focus on the camera function. The lens is uh, 14 megapixel. It's capable of shooting 720p. No, I just uh, and you look at the front. It's got 3x zoom, 5x digital zoom. The 3x is optical, so you know stick with the optical because that's going to give you a higher quality than what we see in previous phones. So I'm gonna go home really quick. All right, as you can see, the lens is recessed. It's not protruding out. But once I go here and I tap the dedicated camera button. Okay. It automatically jumps out and it goes into the, the camera app. You got your flash control on the left, your delay on the, as well. And if you tap to focus, let's say I zoom in on these people over here. Uh, it struggles to focus, but there it took the picture automatically. It's pretty cool. Now, like I was saying, with the apps, uh, it's kind of interesting because it's running some version of Android 2.xx at the moment. So, you know, don't look for this to be ice cream just yet, but the reason why this is going to be interesting, think about the apps that you do on your phone now. You've got camera zoom, you've got FX camera, you got all these uh, third-party apps, you got live share. So, think about how you're going to use this camera in particular. You're going on vacation, you take a bunch of photos, maybe you mess around with the filters, and then you automatically set it to upload to your Facebook, to your live share, or whatever else you're using. Maybe you have Dropbox or SugarSync, you set it to auto upload. You can also upload your photos from directly from the camera through Wi-Fi or USB. It also has Bluetooth, so this is going to be something that's pretty interesting to check out. It's a Polaroid SC1630, so keep an eye on it. In the meantime, this is Andrew from Dronica.com. Thanks for watching. And oh yeah, I almost forgot to mention, of course, you got your zoom in and out right there. You got your little dial. You got your value up and down right there.